parents also need a choice to send their kids to whatever school is best for them, regardless of income or zip code. And that's the argument that Governor Reynolds is making in the ad, urging people to support those reforms to how schools are funded. The governor's plan would have tax dollars that are attached to each student or that state per pupil funding either go to that public school where the student attends or follow the student to the private school of their choice. And there would be some income rest restrictions on who can use that program at first. But after three years, it would be open to any Iowa student. KCRG TV 9's Ethan Stein joins us now live in the studio and you fact check that ad that we've all seen, you know, related to this bill. Who is actually funding? Who's behind this ad? Yeah, we've seen it on our airwaves a lot and we finally got the facts available to check it. The group is called Priorities for Iowa Inc. It claims the group is not as nonpartisan, but these documents from the FEC show the Republican governor's former chief of staff was the group's treasurer in 2014. And that's why we've increased school funding by almost a billion dollars over 10 years. The Iowa State Legislature gives funding to public schools every year. Pat Garrett, a former Reynolds spokesperson and member of the nonprofit running the ad, told us the group is using the same stat used in the condition of the state. Today we spend $3.6 billion on pre-K-12 education, a billion more than we did in 2016. 2012. Documents from the nonpartisan Legislative Services Agency shows in fiscal year 2023 the state will spend about $3.6 billion. It also shows the state spent about $2.6 billion in 2012. That's almost a billion more, like the governor said, and this ad. That's why this claim gets an A. Sorry about getting cut off there. This ad is kind of a response to Democrats' criticism of the bill, saying that public schools need that money too. Our KCRG TV9 I9 investigative team spent time analyzing the ad's sponsor's finances. Most of their donations come from out of state. Almost half of its donations come from two hedge fund managers. In studio, Ethan Stein, KCRG TV9 News. Ethan, thank you.